Yeah. Today we're making couscous with the seafood. Let's see the ingredients. Okay. Now this is our ingredients for the couscous. So we got here prawn, squid, slices as rings. We got here the main subject, the couscous. And um, this is actually the company of the couscous. I mean, you can get it from anywhere now. Couscous is in big stores and Arabic uh, stores and everything. So it's already a big deal to get the couscous. And that's uh, moyen, the medium. So I got here couscous and I got uh, some oil. I got here my jar. This is the, actually the, the measurement for the couscous. I measured three couscous, uh, three cups of couscous with this one. This is the jar of measurement for the water for my broth. Here we got uh, as well um, butter she. Okay, now this is our ingredients for the couscous, for the seafood couscous. Um, I like actually making seafood couscous. It's really nice, healthy, and it's a good challenge actually. All the time making couscous with meat or chicken or so. I like my chicken, with, my couscous with uh, seafood. So we got here prawn, king prawn. Uh, we got here as well uh, squid rings. We got here tiger king prawn. It's up to how many uh, person actually you serve in. This is for five people, for, for my family. So we got that king prawn as well. It's uh, clean and ready. Uh, by the way, as well, it is uh, actually been marinated overnight on uh, um, some garlic uh, paste and some. Uh, uh, lemongrass as well paste and um, fresh coriander paste both of them the prawn and the tiger prawn they've been marinated with some paste of the garlic uh, lemongrass and uh, the coriander fresh coriander we got here actually the vegetable the vegetable is up to you what vegetable you prefer you like this is pumpkin onion shallots we got here three Big pepper. We got here courgette or zucchini. People call it zucchini. People call it courgette. For uh, spices here and oil, we got here uh, lemongrass sticks. We got one stick as well of the cinnamon. I got saffron. I got ginger paste. I got garlic paste. I got uh, black pepper, ginger powder. I got uh, nutmeg and salt. So here we got chickpea, sun-dried tomato. We got here butter. Is a, this is a butter ghee? It's um, this butter actually. They put butter ghee butter. This one you find it in Arabic shops as well, and you find it as well in the Indian shops. We got here three shallots chopped we got here the raisins we got here the main subject is the couscous so this is the kind of couscous i use you find it in all shops arabic shops big stores you find it everywhere now this is my measurement for the couscous i got three cups of this one that's to serve five people so uh, this is some oil actually it's about 125 ml i might not use it all and this one actually my fork to fluff the couscous and this is the measurement as well for the broth i will use like four liter for my vegetables and uh, seafood and i use as well i will use as well boiling water to uh, to prepare the couscous so now this is we're gonna have just a look again to the ingredients and we're gonna go on and start making 
and preparing our couscous. Okay, now I got my couscous here and my oil. I'm going to mix the oil with the couscous. I'm going to mix the couscous very well because actually this couscous is, is not homemade. It's, you know, it could lump so quickly. So uh, that's why I have to, uh, I don't want it to be actually soak and, you know, like uh, soggy and I don't like that way with the couscous. I like it fluffy all the time. So now I mix it, my couscous with my oil and that's enough. I didn't put all the, the oil. Just put maybe about 100 ml. Also, I got here boiling hot water. I'm gonna mess my jug now, no problem. So I'm gonna pour the oil, the, the water, sorry, all the water in here. And quickly, actually, give the stir, like that. And then take all, all the water out, out, actually, from the bowl. Now, I mix it like that for a few seconds. Not much. Uh, I'll take it to my sink and try to take all this water off. I took the whole water off. Took the water off, all the water off. Then now I'm gonna keep it to soak for a little while, like half an hour, maybe more than half an hour. Um, while I'm leaving this one actually to soak, I will actually start to do my vegetables and my uh, seafood. That's it. See you again. Also, this is my uh, steamer to cook the couscous. It must be uh, the best uh, result actually to cook couscous in, on the steamer, not uh, you know the normal. Uh, pans or something like that. So this is a pan and steam on the top. So uh, We're going to cook our couscous in here. This is here where you put the couscous there. And then when you put the vegetables and the seafood or lamb or chicken whatever you have So and you can get this one from any Arabic shop or a Market or anything like that. So it's not really something hard to find so now I'm going to pour my oil. See the, the pan is over actually medium heat, but I left it for a little while to get hot actually. So now I put the butter, ghee. Put first, first of all, my pepper. So I got actually out my pepper, took it out. This for my preparation. So this is the pepper for my preparation. I took it out. Now I'm gonna add my onion to the pan. in my sun-dried tomato. So there is onion, sun-dried tomato, my lemon grass sticks, gonna throw them there, my cinnamon sticks, black, black pepper, Ginger, ginger paste, 
Dove? Not Meg. Some salt. Salt is really up to you how much salt you want in the food. So, and my saffron. I'm gonna actually put my add my saffron to some water, and I'm gonna keep it for little for little while actually to observe, and then I will come back to it and put it on the on the pan. Let me mix all this together. Give it for a few minutes. Two three minutes till the actually the saffron infused with the water. And then I will put it on my pan. I added some more water to my saffron. There, my pan. The every actually think that it's a lemongrass, sun dried tomato, shallots. Um, spices, everything. Now I'm going to add. Just wanted to show you how the color inside is really nice. So I'm going to use it to actually to add my um, broth. I mean my water to it. That's how we're going to make broth. And we need some. I mean we need more. We need about another three actually jar, like another. That's one liter, and we need another another at least three liters. In a minute, I'm going to add my seafood. I'm going to add first the tiger prawn because it takes a long time, I mean, more time to cook. And uh, in the meantime, I added another liter for the moment of water to the pan. So I'm just waiting uh, for it actually to get to the boil, and then I will add my shrimps or tiger prawn, whatever you call it, it's a big one. And then I will add the small ones and um, uh, the squid rings. Okay, now we brought our sauce to the boil. So now we're going to add our shrimp or tiger prawn, what you call it. Uh, there. We're going to leave it till it's cooked. No, no, uh, sorry, not till it's cooked, till halfway it's cooking. And then I'll add my other prawn and uh, squid so uh, because this one actually it takes longer we put things take longer first now back, back to our couscous so we put it aside with the water not with the water we took the water off actually but we left it uh, soak with water, a little water, soak with a little water. So now we're back to it. We're going to fluff it with the fork and with our palms of hand. And uh, you see, now it's as you go slowly, slowly like this, it comes separated from each other. Look, it's actually sticking together. You think it's a stick, but once you start to, you know, fluff it and rub it like that between your hands, it will go fluffy and nice. It's, it's, we need actually now to put it on our steamer, but you think that it's enough, it's already done, but you need to put it on the steamer as well. So, and in the meantime, I'm going to add some actually butter G with my finger like that. Don't really, I won't actually use this one another, another thing, so it wouldn't get dirty or anything. So, no, I'm rubbing my eyes, I'm my, sorry, my couscous with my hand, till it's all, it's free, every single grain, it's free from the other one. Now my couscous, it's done. I'm going to place it on my steamer and put it on the top of the pan Okay. 
also with a wooden spoon I will make some holes like that for the steam to ease the steam to the top and now we're going to check our seafood what's happened so far so now my prawn it's done I thought actually at the beginner I thought I'm going to add my prawn and my squid uh, on the pan with the the tiger prawn but I can't because the the space is not really enough so I cooked totally the the the, king, the, the prawn I mean the tiger prawn I'm going to take it out the same thing actually is not a problem so I'm going to take that beautiful stuff look at that the smell is fantastic I mean the the test I just tested the, the broth it's really amazing it's delicious and um, you will know when you do this thing how delicious is it and everyone knows seafood anyway seafood is really really bring the flavor the beautiful flavor to anything so now I'm taking this one off add on my squid and my prawn and put in the steamer with the couscous on the top of that look at that my okay. beautiful now I'm adding my prawn and squid with the lemon on the plate of the prawn actually mix that together put my couscous on top that my there my couscous the couscous there so we're gonna leave it till the steam come out actually through the these holes when you check actually your couscous don't check straight away check the, the couscous after three four five minutes this is will the steam will come up so quickly actually because it's you know it's uh, compressed together it's like that so it's the steam it will go so quickly here and not because the steam will come up so you you take it straight away no you leave it for a little while then you take it and we will see you anyway so uh, now actually my prawn is ready but my couscous is not ready yet so i'm going to take out because the prawn doesn't take Time actually is get ready so quickly the prawn and the squid is ready so I'm going to take that one out and place the vegetable in and put back my uh, couscous on the top of that so that's it now I'm adding my vegetables I took my prawn and squid First of all, I'm going to put my steamer on the top of the pan again to let the couscous cook. Let's have a look to the couscous. Give it two to three, another two to three minutes, and uh, then that's it. So let me cover my couscous again, make some other holes with my fork. Okay, let me check out couscous. Alright, couscous is ready. I'm gonna add my raisins. I'm not gonna let it cook or something, just once it's hot so the raisin will actually get nice and tender with the hot couscous so now I'm going to move my couscous my vegetables as well I think they're ready just a little bit a little I'm gonna leave it for two three seconds and then I'm gonna add as well my chickpea my chickpea is ready actually they are ready three cooked ones so I'm gonna keep them just for a few minutes let me test the the bro mm, it's fantastic everything it's nice doesn't need any salt or anything just for a few minutes and then I'm gonna turn my heat off and now we're going to prepare our plate of couscous 
So now my couscous is, is ready, it's done. Trying to actually fluff the couscous again. Couscous is cooked. I'm trying to fluff it all. Then put my vegetables, I put my seafood and everything. Still need a little time. Not much, but just a little time. Maybe I use my hand, it's better. It's the couscous. And this is the prawn and squid. This is the big prawn, my tiger one. This is the vegetable. And this is the pepper. So now I'm going to put my broth into the couscous. And uh, I'm going to decorate and garnish the couscous as well. So I'm going to put some salt to my couscous actually. It's, uh, it needed some sort of the couscous without anything because the couscous is, uh, you can, this couscous you can actually use it as sweet or uh, it's plain so you need to add some actually salt to it. It will taste better with the butter ghee and everything. The butter ghee is really nice actually for the couscous. That's why we use it for the couscous instead of the unsalted butter. So. Now so I'm going to add my sauce and I'm going to go to, to garnish my couscous with the vegetables and everything so and we will put more actually I put more when I need it so till it's juicy and uh, nice some people they want it a little bit dry, but I don't want it. To, I, I want it medium actually. And the flavor of the broth actually, it's fantastic. It's really, I mean, so tasty and nice. Our couscous is ready. Look at this. Isn't it this amazing? It's amazing. Everything is nice. The taste, the smell, if you hear, I mean, if, I mean it's really nice. It's delicious. It's healthy, you know, it's very, very healthy. Actually, it's, it's prone and it's all about seafood and vegetable and broth. And it's really, really nice. Even the broth, actually, you can't have it as a soup like this. It's, I mean, it's really nice. So um, go on, try the recipe step by step. Anything will actually, at the beginning, you, you see it, it's difficult and too hard. Well, which is the couscous, actually, one of the... You know, hard recipes is uh, because a lot of things to do in the couscous, the couscous, the vegetable, everything. But it's actually in the end, it's easy. Anything actually you want to do it, you do it. You you go step by step, and then that's it. Okay then, um, my couscous is finished. I want you to try the couscous, and uh, this is lovely. Actually, it's a beautiful recipe. Try it. Comment on my page and let me know. Good luck. Bon appetit. See you next time.